What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. Yo, what is going on? Do I look tired? I am tired. It is early Sunday morning. And uh, as I've told you guys before, I don't typically try to work on my, on my YouTube stuff on the weekend. This is my family time. But I woke up to text messages from my friends, notifications on YouTube. And uh, I thought, okay, I'm going to sneak out of the house while everyone's kind of still asleep. Uh, record this, put it up, and then go back home. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but Kendrick... Kendrick, my guy, um, I'm pretty sure almost everybody, you know, except for maybe like, you know, hardcore stands in denial, have you winning right now. But you're saying that's not enough. It's not enough. And you got to keep, hey, by the way, I want to point something out. Uh, Kendrick's subscriber count has been skyrocketing. I mean, I think yesterday, from yesterday to today, uh, it's over 500,000 more people than it was yesterday. Like, I think <clears throat> yesterday I saw it was at like 12.8 million maybe, 12.9 million, and today it's at 13.4 million. So his subscriber count has been skyrocketing. And I mean, the numbers that he's doing right now, five hours ago, 8.2 million views in five hours is madness, madness, okay? Now, guys, I have some stuff that I need to say, but I'm not going to say it right here. Uh, I'm going to see what this track is like. We're going to get into it right now. If I feel like it's the right place to say it in this video, I will. If not, I'll do a separate video so I don't take away from this video, okay? But it has to do with the allegations and accusations that are being thrown around because I just need to say, I'll, I'll just say this much. Some of the stuff that's being said is very serious and I don't take those things lightly and I just feel like it needs to be addressed. But maybe I'll do it in a different video so I don't take away from the song, okay? Uh, let me make sure my settings are right. Yep, all right, here we go. Not like us. What, what, what I see like? dead people. Oh, hell no. Hell no. First of all, he said, I see dead people. Guys, already, I'm sorry, I'm pausing it three seconds in. First of all, this is, uh, this is Drake's house. This is the embassy. Um, the cool thing about this Park Lane Circle and then Bridal Path uh, is, is either here or here. But um, this neighborhood, I used to drive through here because uh, when I first moved to Canada, I was staying with a family friend and they had a house that was close to this, not in this particular pocket because this is an insane pocket, but it was fairly close to this and I would have to drive through this neighborhood and I used to drive by Drake's house when it was being built. Uh, it wasn't complete yet. So... Um, that's that's kind of cool, but like, y'all know what this is, right? You see the uh, you see the red. Sorry, I didn't realize I didn't realize I uh, I didn't go full screen yet. Y'all know what that is, right? I believe this is uh, if you go to the web like the website where you can check if there's like registered sex offenders in your neighborhood. I believe that's how they show up on the map. And that's a lot of them in one place, bro. That's, mm, okay. Psst. Okay. I see dead people. Hey, must have on the beat, ho, depot, any rap nigga, he a free throw, man down, call out Amber Lambs, tell him breathe, bro, nail a nigga to the cross, he walk around like Tizo, what's up with these jabroni ass niggas trying to see Compton, the industry can hate me, fuck them all. Hold up. I did not listen, honestly, I did not listen to a single line. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> the, the criticism that has been going around, now this is where Kendrick is like showing a little bit of his genius, right? I said this, the previous tracks 
the beats were very unconventional, not only for diss tracks, but they were also very niche to like, I'm not sure that a lot of people would listen to that and be like, ah, oh, like, you know, play that again, put it on repeat. They just lacked a little bit of the like the replayability factor. What he said was crazy, right? So someone like me would listen to it again. But this is where Kendrick's a genius because I don't even know what he said there, but <laughs> that beat, yo. Lamps, tell him please, bro. Oh, <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Come on. Hey, Monster on the beat, ho, deep any rap nigga, he a free throw, man down. Lambs, tell him breathe, bro. Nella nigga to the cross. He walk around like Tizo. What's up with these jabroni ass niggas trying to see Compton? They end- Nail him on the cross. Walk around like Tizo. Uh, uh, what's the name? Hold up. I'm going to look this because I feel like I, I know this. One second. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So th- this is a this is a rapper. Hold on, I was just looking it up right here. This is a rapper, Tizo Touchdown, um, and uh, th- there's like a picture of him wearing like the thorn, so like cross thorn. That's yo, that's interesting. I wonder if he has a song with Drake, maybe, uh, or has done something with Drake. Like maybe there's a way that it connects that way as well. But this guy just said Amblam. <laughs> Ambulance, y'all remember that video? A nigga to the cross, he walk around like Tizo. What's up with these jabroni ass niggas trying to see Compton? They in the street and hate me, fuck them all in the mama. How many options you really got? I mean, it's too many options. I'm finna pass on this body, I'm John Stockton. Beat your ass and hide. A pass on this body, John Stockton. That, that's a bar. That's a bar. Uh, how many ops you really got? I mean, it's too many options. Yeah, I mean, this is a this has been a revelation that like, uh, you know, some people in the comments are saying that this has been brewing for a while. Um, but again, as I've mentioned, like as somebody who maybe like maybe I don't know because I'm not I'm not black and I'm like not in those conversations or those like rooms. But apparently, like a lot of the the comments were saying like this has been brewing for a while, and there's a lot of people that are now coming out of the woodworks that are saying like we got to get Drake out of here. We don't like Drake, so. That's interesting, but that John Stockton line's a on his body, I'm John Stockton. Mm. Beat your ass and hide the Bible if God watching. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas. Certified buggy man, I'm the one that up to score with him. Walking down whole time, I know he got some hoe in him. Pull on him, extort shit, bully the flow on him. Say Drake, I hear you like I'm young. You better not ever go to sell black one. To any- yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna make that separate video. Um, Cause I need to address not only the album artwork here, but the these allegations. These these are very serious, okay? Especially in recent history with all the... I mean, he even named Weinstein in the previous one. We know what's going on with Diddy right now. Uh, Epstein, like... Um, why can't I remember? A uh, famous black actor had a show. Mm, I can't remember the name, but you, you, you know who I'm talking about, I'm sure. Um, I, I'm going to make a separate video addressing those, but yo, beat, beat your ass and hide the Bible if God watching is a crazy line. Um, and then, you know, pop out and show people uh, I'm the boogeyman, like boogeyman, you know, popping out that that like these are just like little things that, you know, make the bars more intricate. Walking down whole time. I know he got some hoe in him. Pull on him. Extort shit. Bully the flow on him. Say Drake. I hear you like I'm young. You better not ever go to sell black one. To any bitch that talk to him and they in love, just make sure you hide your little sister from him. They tell me Chubb's the only yeah. one that get your hand-me-downs and party at the party playing with his nose now. And Baka got a weird case. Why is he around? Certified love. Bro, he's going through. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me pull this back because he's going through his team right now. So let's pay attention. Uh, he said party at the party playing with his nose now. I wonder if that's party next door because he also just dropped an album from my understanding. Okay, Just make sure up. you hide your little sister from him. They tell me Chubb's the only one that get your hemi downs and Chubb. party at the party playing with his nose now. And Baka got a weird Baca. case. Why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Wop, 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 wop. That fuck him up. Wop, 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 wop. I'm gonna do my stuff. He's talking about the case, Baka, because I believe Drake has mentioned something about, you know, 
either free Baca or Baca coming home. It was something to that effect. But he's saying, you know, what's his case? He's saying certified pedophile. Yo. Again, these are very serious accusations. I'm 100% going to make a video after this. So I don't take away from this video. Because I got to talk about that. Uh, now. And Baca got a weird case. Why is he around? Certified lover boy. Certified pedophiles. Wop, 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 wop. That fuck him up. Wop, wop, wop. I'ma do my stuff. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. Oh. Bro, I try really hard not to swear on the channel, but oh my lord. That just came out. Bro, again, I gotta address these allegations because these are very serious. But if there's a way to put a bar together, that is how you do it. Trying to strike a chord and it's probably A minor. Strike a chord, A minor, like literally that's the chord. But A space minor, like a minor, a, a young person. Oh my God, that's how you put a bar together, yo. That. Strike a chord and it's probably A minor. And, and Kendrick said, K K I mean, he's dragging that out too. I like that. But Kendrick literally was like, Oh, word, like, y'all say that, you know, nobody can uh, dance to my, my diss tracks. No one's going to play it in the club. Watch this. I mean, this is a banger. Oh, God. They not like us. They not like us. Oh, God. They not like us. They oh, not God. like us. They not like us. They not like us. You think the bay gon' let you disrespect pop, nigga? I think that mm. open show gon' be your last stop, nigga. Oh, they cold shit. foul. I don't know why you still pretending. What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitches. Go. The audience not... Now, that's interesting. Okay, first of all, he opened that verse with a threat. And said, you think the bay is gonna let you disrespect Pac? Now, we know a lot of people felt a certain way about, you know, the Pac AI, Okay. Uh, Kendrick obviously took it very personally. He said, I think that Oakland show is going to be your last stop. So that's a threat, okay? Now, Drake moves like heavy security. And he admits it. Like he's flexing that he's got the bodyguards and everything. Um, so I, he, I feel like he's a hard person to get to. But obviously, like at this point, we're starting to see... I, I don't want to see this move into like the real world, Right? Um, I think I just saw the other day that maybe there was a shooting at the weekend's manager's house and somebody got hurt. I don't want to see things like that happen. So uh, I really hope that it doesn't get to that point. But this next part, hold on, let me listen to this. Are you still this. pretending? What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitch. Stop, nigga. Did Cole foul? I don't know why you still pretending. Did Cole foul? What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitches. Foul birds? <laughs> And then he went, what is the owl foul? Did Cole foul like you did Cole dirty? And I think what he's saying there is like, you know, Cole bowed out. Kendrick fired his shots at Cole. But I think Kendrick is saying, wow, this speaks to your character that you're also giving like strays at Cole because of Cole's apology and Cole backing out. Um, Yeah, I mean, these are the angles, man. These are the angles. But that owl foul bird, yo, that was nice. That was nice. Go. The audience not dumb. Shape the stories how you want. Hey, Drake, they're not slow. Rabbit hole is still deep. I can go further, I promise. Ain't there some be rest that's for bitching? You Malibu most wanted. Ain't no law boy, you ball boy. Fish get a ring. <sighs> he says the rabbit hole goes deeper. I got more. Bro, you have more than this? Listen, this is all I'm going to say about that. One of my favorite reactors, when I watched his reaction to Meet the Grams after I did my reaction, um, it really made me think, combined with a, a few of you that commented. Again, I'm not going to go too deep into this. I will make a separate, separate video, but if you got more dirt than this, like what I'm seeing on the screen, bro, why are we doing this on a song? Like, I, I know there's this whole code and no snitch, but... There has to be a certain exception. And if if people are doing things with like young kids and like young girls and, and inappropriate stuff like that, bro, go go to the police, go to the whatever, like help them set up their their sting. Like embassy needs to be raided tomorrow. Do that because that, yo, this is not okay. But God damn. 
and then he made a Malibu's Most Wanted. Uh, B Rad was the was the was the white rapper Malibu's Most Wanted. Dumb. Shape the stories how you want. Hey Drake, they're not slow. Uh, Rabbit hole is still deep. I can go further. I promise. Ain't there some B Rad that's for bitching? You Malibu Most Wanted. Ain't no law boy. You ball boy. Fish get a raid or something. Since 2009, I had this bitch jumping. You niggas will get a wedgie. Be flipped over your boxes. Or over your foe. The other vaginal option. Pussy. Nigga better straighten. No. He, and notice he's basically going through all of his uh, logos and brands and all of that stuff, right? So he, he's like, attack the owl. Now he's doing the OVO, October's very own, but he's saying, no, it's other vaginal option. Yeah, oh my God. Get a raid or something. Since 2009, I had this bitch jumping. You niggas will get a wedgie. Be flipped over your boxes. Or over your foe. The other vaginal option. Pussy. Nigga better straighten they posture. Got famous all up in contact. Might write this with a doctor. Tell a pop star quit hiding. Fuck a caption. Won't action. No accident. I'm hands on. He fuck around. Get polished. Fuck don't Wayne girl. Like he was in jail. That's Canavan. The oh, hands on. He F around and get polished. Oh, God. No accident, I'm hands on. He fuck around, get polished. Fucked on Wayne Girl, like he was in jail. That's conniving. Then get his face tatted like a bitch apologizing. I'm glad D Rose came home. Y'all didn't deserve him either. From Alondra down to Central, nigga, better not speak on Serena. And your home. Um, okay, I've heard this this story. Now, I don't, again, I, I, I struggle because I don't know what has been substantiated, what hasn't. So it, it's difficult to fully like be like ah uh, until i know for sure but i've heard this story so i feel like um he he's he's repeating something that's known but he said uh he's that drake slept with wayne's girl when wayne was in prison uh was wayne when when wayne was in jail um yeah that's if that's true that was foul too bro like that's messed up um and he said i think i'm glad DeRozan came home because he he played for the Raptors, but he's originally from L.A. or Compton, I think. I think L.A. I'm not sure if he's from Compton. Uh, he even said Serena, who I believe is also from the West Coast. Um... So yeah, I mean fuck no Wayne Girl, right. he was in jail. That's conniving. Then get his face tatted like a bitch apologizing. I'm glad D Rose came home, y'all didn't deserve him neither. From Alonja down to Central, nigga better not speak on Serena. And your homeboy needs subpoena. That predator moving flax. That name gotta be registered and placed on neighborhood watch. I lean on you niggas like another line of walk. Yeah, all eyes on me, and I'ma send it up the pot. Ay, put the roll label on me, I'ma get him dropped. Ay. Nah, he's going crazy. Um all eyes on me, I'ma send it up to Pac. Um, hold on. I got to see what this line is because I didn't get it. One second. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. That, that was, that was hard. He said, I lean on you like another line of walk, uh, lean like the drink cough syrup mixed with, you know, but, uh, apparently walk is like short for uh, a cough syrup brand. So I definitely didn't know that. So I, I'm glad I looked that up. Um, yeah, man, he's he's destroying them. Let's keep going. Pac, yeah, it's all eyes on me, and I'ma send it up to Pac. Ay, put the roll label on me, I'ma get them dropped. Ay, sweet chin music, and I won't pass the ox. Ay, how many stocks do I really have in stock? Ay, one, two, three, four, five, plus five. Ay, devil is a lot. Bro, this dude, the delivery is stupid. It's so catchy with this beat. Oh, God. Um, he, <laughs> he said, put the wrong label on me, get dropped. Label dropped. That was nice. Uh... He says something about sweet music. I won't pass the aux, like the aux cord. Um, how many do I have in stock? And then he said some numbers there. So I think he's saying like, how many more diss tracks do I have in stock? Put the label on me, I'ma get them dropped. Ay, sweet chin music and I won't pass the aux. Ay, how many stocks do I really have in stock? Ay, one, two, three, four, five, plus five. Ay. You're saying you have 10 tracks? Devil is a lie, he a 69 god, ay Freaky ass niggas need to stay their ass inside, ay Roll their ass up like a fresh pack of Zon, ay City is back up, it's a must, we outside, ay Devil is a lie, he a 69 god Cause he's the 6 god Six... oh, fuck. They not like us, they not like us They not like us They not like us, they not like us They not like us once upon a time, all of us was in chains. Homie still double down, calling us some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca, building railroads and trains. Bear with me for a second. Let me put y'all on game. Bro. Okay. 
the fact that this came out so quick, here's my analysis. The first three minutes, okay, when we're looking at that, I think that was already ready. I think the beat, the way he's delivered on it, everything he set up until this point was already ready because he's not really like specifically replying to anything new that Drake said in these parts. This is a very like generic uh, diss when you take into account what Drake last said. So it was more just like, I'm going to say this about you and I'm just going to rap. Okay. Um, this part, he's addressing what Drake said. So this part, I believe he added, like just now. He just did this verse, added to this song. Because right away, he's addressing the slave line when Drake said, this guy you know, makes music that frees the slaves. Now, I'm sure I saw other reactions react to it. I reacted to it. That was a bar. It was a great way for Drake to flip the whole activist angle that Kendrick takes in his music. Now, Kendrick is too good. Because Kendrick said, oh, that word, that's a good angle on me. But you realize that we were calling you white. And then you said, I'm trying to free the slaves. And he's just flipped it right back on him. Ken Kendrick's too good, man. Kendrick's too good. And, and the Atlanta thing, because uh, Drake mentioned Atlanta when he was dissing The weekend about the whole gay pride thing. Atlanta, what's the mecca? Building railroads and trains. Bear with me for a second. Let me put y'all on game. The settlers was choosing town folk to make them richer. Fast forward 2024, you got the same agenda. You Damn. run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you. This the real nigga challenge. You call future when you didn't see the club. Like, what? Little baby, help you get your lingo up. What? 21, get your first street cred. Thug, make you feel like you a slime in your head. Like, oh, what? Crabo said you can be from north side. What? Two chains say you good, but he lied. You run to Atlanta when you you need a few dollars. No, you're not a colleague. You're a fucking colonizer. Oh, shit. Okay. If y'all watch my Drake reaction, the way I reacted to him setting up the whole Mike and Prince and darkness coming to light and the white features for pop songs, um, th that, don't mess with me here, that was a scheme and a bar. Drake killed that. This entire verse that I am speculating that he just added to this song was a scheme and a bar. The way he set that whole thing up and the punchline being, you're not a colleague, you're a colonizer. No, bro. That was crazy. And... And basically running the parallel all the way through of like the settlers, the colonizers were using the town folk to make them richer. And then he calls Drake, the colonizer, the foreigner that's coming in and then using all of the town folk. So then he went through all of these Atlanta artists. Oh, oh my God. Listen, I got to tell you something, bro. The, the sexual allegation stuff, I, I'm taking that very seriously. If anybody's lying on that, that's effed up and I cannot back that. And if it's true, get this man off the streets. He needs to be in prison like yesterday. That's it. It's that simple for me. I cannot condone that. I do not support those type of activities. But this right here, this is how you diss somebody. Yo. I'm sorry, I, I, you guys might be upset with this. We are pulling that whole verse back. You run to Atlanta, choose a town for the railroad, bus will send chains. Not like us, they not like us. Once upon a time, all of us will send chains. Homie still double down, calling us some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca, building railroads and trains. Bear with me for a second, let me put y'all on game. The settlers was choosing town folk to make them richer. Fast forward 2024, you got the same agenda. You run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you. This the real nigga challenge. This is brilliant. This verse is brilliant. You no. call future when you didn't see the club. Like, what? Little baby, help you oh get your lingo up. What? 21, get your first street cred. Thug, make you feel like you a slime in your head. Like, what? 
Quavo said you can be from Northside. But two chains say you good, but he lied. You run to Atlanta when you need a few dollars. No, you're not a colleague. You're a fucking colonizer. Oh. The family matter and the truth for the matter. Here was God's plan to show y'all the liar. <sighs> family matter. See, again, I'm telling you, this was... This was this verse was just added. The rest of the song, I'm I'm gonna stand on that. The rest of the song was ready. This verse he added after Family Matters. For sure. For sure. Mm. God's plan also to show you the lie. Mm. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan. Mm. He a fan, he a fan, he a freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, hey, hey. Run for your life, freaky ass nigga. He a 69 God, freaky ass nigga. He a 69 God. Hey, 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 hey. Run for your life. Bill Cosby. That was the name I couldn't think of earlier in the track. I know that was really weird to say right there. But... Hey, 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 hey. Run for Let your life. Let me say O V ho, O V ho. Say O V ho, O V ho. Then step this way, step that way. Then step this way, <laughs> step that way. Are you my friend? Are we locked in? Oh lord. Then step this way, step that way, then step this way, step that way. Bro, I, I oops. Uh I, I said this yesterday would would meet the grams. Um that was some evil diabolical stuff. And the fact that this guy just made like a club banger type of song that people are going to want to listen to again. Like even if you're not paying attention to the lyrics, like that's something you want to listen to. Um, and the lyrics are basically calling Drake and his team like pedophiles. Is, is some evil diabolical stuff. Um... I'm going to make that video right now. I was going to do it later because I wanted to go home. But I'm going to make that video right now because I don't want to extend this too much. But I, I, I feel mixed about those lines. Okay, so I feel mixed about Meet the Grams. I feel mixed about the first three minutes of this track. Because it was all about the sexual predator, uh, you know, young girl stuff. And I'll explain that in the next video. But that last verse, if we were to, you know, conduct a study and, and dissect and teach somebody how you rebuttal in a diss battle, that verse is how you do it. Because he took the same concept that Drake did with the Mike Jack and Prince. He took that same concept and applied it to this and flipped Again, the, this this narrative which a lot of people are, you know, supporting of like Drake being a culture vulture, literally flipped it to apply to that slave line that Drake used. And he's basically like just I'm not gonna say he just destroyed him. That that fourth verse is what did it for me in this song. Let me know what you guys think, but god damn, I'm here on a Sunday morning, bro. If y'all are still here. I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time.